Welcome back to another video where today we will be discussing some open water safety tips which can aid you when swimming open water. Whether you're a beginner looking to do some open water for the first time or experienced, I'm hoping this video can give you an insight to some of the things to consider before heading down the ramp or beach for your swim. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Since COVID, we have seen a major increase in open water swim participation thanks to the open air, limited social distancing and leisure centre closures. Sport England's recent active report claimed that 7.5 million people swim outdoors, but 2.1 million prefer to swim in the open water, such as lakes, lochs, rivers and seas, in comparison to indoor and outdoor pools. Though environments at the beach can take a turn quickly, so here are a few things to consider investing in to help you and others swim safely. Firstly, taking a training partner or going as a group provides great motivation, enthusiasm, fun and safety. Personally, I rarely swim on my own in the sea. I will always make plans and ensure I have someone to train with to push each other and make sure we're both safe at all times. With more swimmers, you are a lot safer in regard to being seen by others and help each other in different situations. Consider one person thinking to swim from one side of the beach to the other but they haven't seen a rip current through the middle. Having a second opinion and advice from another person who may be more experienced always helps and reduces the risks for, of anyone getting themselves into an incident. Open water swimmers must ensure they have the correct equipment to ensure safety, efficiency and aid them the best possible way. Here we have a few things to consider investing in to help benefit you. To begin with, a buoy is a brightly coloured float. It helps people and lifeguards and users of the sea, such as boats, to identify you easier from distance. It can also aid you in an emergency if you hit a rip current or tides turn with a strong current. Furthermore, moist buoys have pockets on, which allow space for medication, keys and mobile phones. So if an incident was to occur in the water, there's a possibility that you can contact the relevant emergency teams and request their help. Water temperatures vary between different locations and times of the year. Therefore, for this reason, investing or using a suitable wetsuit, which has thick neoprene, is effective for keeping your body warm in correlation to the cold water. Aiding this, purchasing gloves and boots help reduce cold water entering your wetsuit and keeping your hands and feet warmer. As we know, avoiding cold water shock for beginners is crucial and possibly life-threatening when entering the water. Though when swimming across bays at the beach, the tendency to cross different temperatures due to currents and changes in depth is very high. As for this, we want to make sure that you are prepared with the correct swimming equipment before swimming. There are many swimming and triathlon shops that provide essential information and kit in regard to open water swimming. So take a moment to find your local stores and clubs and listen to what they have to say. When swimming, consider wearing two caps to ensure your head stays warm or invest in a neoprene cap. Neoprene caps not only provide great heat insulation for your head, but consist of a bright orange colour so it's easier to identify you from a distance. They are a small investment, which is a great deal of benefit for anyone of all swimming abilities and experience. So just to recap, here's a list of everything we have just covered in this video. I hope this has provided some useful tips for open water swimming. If you have any questions, want more information or some ideas for our next up and coming videos, please feel free to comment down below. If you like what we do, go ahead and like this video and share with your friends and family to help promote water safety and prevent adolescent drownings. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications if you want to be reminded of our next video. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon.